Today on Getting Real with the Housewives, Angie Kate reveals what her husband really thinks of the cheating rumors. He knows that this is what these women do. Plus, Shannon Medora reportedly seeking treatment after her DUI, and Tamara Judge is hospitalized, and Mauricio Omansky's potential new romance. We've got that plus so much more on today's Getting Real with the Housewives. Hey guys, Christina Garibaldi here. And welcome to another big week of Getting Real with the Housewives. We have a lot of OC news as that season wraps up. We have some potential Mauricio dating rumors, so lots to get to. But like always, we'll check in to see what you guys had to say about last week's show. Uh, Pooh Bear says, Team Jessel, Sai is a mean girl. Jenna Lyons just changed the game for reunion looks forever. And I love that she wore jeans to the reunion. She's my favorite. I totally agree. I love that she is true and true Jenna Lyons and wore jeans to reunion. And I agree. Also, I am team Jessel. I felt like Cy and Erin are turning into total mean girls. Maybe they'll change my mind with the finale, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, Red said, I will always miss Lisa Renna. A lot of people were divided here because Catherine says, I really miss the old Lisa Renna. Loved watching her, but the one that was just let go had too much enjoyment hurting others. And maybe Bravo was paying too much attention to her gleeful expressions when others were feeling pain. It all didn't land well for her. Wish it didn't play out that way. I agree. I do miss the old Lisa Renna. The Lisa Renna that left us last season just felt like a totally different version. I think she needed to be put on pause. She went through a lot the previous season, so maybe we'll see Lisa Renna come back, but after that trailer, I'm ready for this season. I think it's going to be a great one, and I'm sure we're going to be talking about it a lot. All right, well, let's move on over to the news of the week, and Shannon Bador has decided to seek treatment, but that won't keep her from continuing the Trace Amigas tour. So TMZ reported that the reality star enrolled in an outpatient behavioral wellness program with an alcohol component. Sources told TMZ that Shannon, who of course was arrested for DUI and hit and run last month, still plans to be part of the Trace Amigas comedy show alongside Tamara Judge and Vicki Gumbelson. She won't be drinking at the upcoming tour. I guess they have decided to shift the focus of the tour from alcohol to their friendship. Obviously, Shannon is going through a lot. If you watched part two of the reunion, which was filmed, I believe, 10 days before her arrest, she was going through a lot. She broke down about her relationship with John. It seems like it really took a toll on her. They were kind of in this weird gray area where they were having a friends with benefits relationship, but she clearly checked out of the relationship a long time ago. I'm not making excuses for her behavior at all, but you can see that a lot of this was just kind of bubbling up. And I think that, you know, she just, she had a breakdown. I'm glad that she is getting the help that she needs because it seems like she was in a really hard place. So hopefully we'll see a new and improve Shannon Bedore on next season of the show. Everybody loves a redemption story, so hopefully hers is in the cards, and thankfully nobody got hurt in that situation. In other OC news, Tamara Judge shared a selfie from her hospital bed via her Instagram story, revealing that she had an intestinal obstruction. She shared a photo of herself in a hospital gown with a tube protruding from her nose, but she still found herself having to square off against haters because a lot of people were blaming Ozempic for her intestinal issues. Back up a little bit, Tamara had to undergo a life-saving surgery surgery for intestinal problems before. And of course she wasted no time in hitting back at all these haters. She wrote via Instagram, these comments are disgusting. I have suffered from intestinal problems for years. I've had multiple surgeries in the past 12 years. Remember when you all made fun of me for not having a belly button? That was due to emergency life-saving surgery. Part of my intestines were being strangled. She um, noted that her grandmother died of intestinal problems and further clapped back at the Ozempic allegations, revealing she has never been on the the injections. So there you have it. Tamara is setting the record straight. I love that even in a hospital bed, the haters have to come out. Like, just let her be. Hopefully she is feeling a lot better. We wish her a speedy recovery. Mauricio um, continues to make a lot of headlines lately, and it's not just for his dancing steps. So we hear that he is not dating Leslie Vega. So she's an actress who also works for the agency, of course, Mauricio's firm. It's being reported that she is actually dating Mauricio's father, Eduardo. So TMZ reported um, this news, and last week rumors began swirling that Mauricio was romantically pursuing this woman after they were having dinner with his parents, Eduardo, and his mom, Estella, who are divorced. So in the photo, she was seen sitting next to him with her arm draped around his neck. So a lot of people were like, okay, 
that's his new girlfriend because Mauricio didn't post the photo, his mom did, but apparently Eduardo is dating this woman, but a lot of people on some Bravo websites uncovered that Eduardo had been dating another woman from the agency for six years. So who knows, there have been some denials. Mauricio is sticking by the story that he and Kyle haven't thrown in the towel yet and that they are continuing to work on their relationship. Kyle did post something on her Instagram story saying vote for Mauricio on Dancing with the Stars. He is safe for another week, so we'll have to wait and see what happens there. This is going to be a major storyline for the upcoming season, so we'll have to save. Another week, another story about Kim Zolciak, and apparently she formed a connection with fellow Surreal Life contestant Chet Hanks while on the set of the reality series. So a source told us that they were flirting. They didn't hook up, but there was definitely an attraction between them. She thinks he's good looking. In September, MTV announced that the Surreal Life would return for season eight. In addition to Kim and Chet, the cast includes Tyler Posey, Macy Gray, Johnny Weir. A date for the show has not yet been announced, but quite the pairing. I mean, you know, I'm sure they had a lot to chat about. Turmoil continues between Kim and Croy, so maybe they both just need to move on to different people, but yet they are still in their house. We saw that body cam footage last week where she was demanding to get into her bedroom to sleep on her $20,000 mattress. I mean, this is quite reality show gold, so who knows if uh, cameras uh, will be rolling uh, on them in the future, but a lot of drama going on in Kim Zolciak's life. All right, well, Mary Cosby pulled out her fashion police badge when discussing an outfit Heather Gay wore during an episode of The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. So Mary appeared on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, and as we know, she is very unfiltered. So they played a game called Versace or Hibachi, and Andy pulled up a photo of Heather and said, Mary, did Heather get it right with this Gucci top and chain necklace? Mary said, no, I don't think Gucci makes that she which then prompted Andy to ask you think it's fake well Mary said yes I do I've never seen a corset from Gucci in a size 14 oh Mary oof Andy grimace like I just did um, Mary doubled down saying that's my opinion well Heather quickly caught wind of Mary's savage words sharing her reaction in the comment section of a clip from the moment shared by Bravo Betches on Instagram and Heather wrote it's real and it's spectacular adding a winky face and a tongue out emoji. As we saw in last week's um, episode of Salt Lake City, Mary takes a jab at Heather's fashion choices as well. She doesn't seem to think that, doesn't seem to think, I guess, Heather's fashion choices are up to par. Mary um, seems to think that she is the best dressed of the cast. I don't know if everybody else agrees with it. I mean, she does have great fashion. Mary is not afraid to speak her mind. And as Andy asked her on Watch What Happens Live, why did you come back? She said to help you guys out. And I agree, I mean, she is helping the show. I mean, she she definitely is not totally engaged in the series, but she does provide some comic relief. I mean, it is good to see Mary back. and I I don't know about you guys, but I would love to know if you are enjoying this season of Salt Lake City. I know I am. I think it's great. I mean, I was a little worried about how it would feel without Jen, but I think that the ladies are definitely bringing the drama. I personally really enjoy it. I'd love to know what you guys think. And of course, a big storyline this week is this rumor about Angie Kay's husband. She confronts Meredith about it. So as you know, Angie was here in our studio last week. I had to ask her what her husband really thinks about this rumor and how they are doing today. Take a look. How does your husband feel about everything my husband was a great sport his biggest concern mm -hmm. as always would be our daughter sure. and once he saw her reaction to it he was able to brush it off mm -hmm. and move on and you know he's very supportive of me in this arena and he knows that this is what these women do sure like, yes. Meredith has done this for multiple seasons and this is kind of her mo this is her storyline you know hopefully next season she can find something new to focus on like mm -hmm. we have a lot to give as a couple as a family the charities we're involved with the community we're involved with our businesses mm -hmm. my daughter's an equestrian right. we've been together for 30 years mm -hmm. i have so many amazing things to share as a family and as a couple this stuff is kind of silly i think we'll move past it in the next couple of weeks and yeah. viewers will see that like it's just a weak attempt to, you know, dismiss what I've done in the last 30 years sure. as far as like love and marriage, as far as my business. And it's pretty obvious that these two girls really don't have a lot of respect for mm -hmm. love and marriage. And, um, you know, we do as a family, we're religious. We committed ourselves to our religion and to God and to our family, um, to our church when we mm -hmm. got married 20 I mean, we've been together for yeah. 24 years mm -hmm. and Long together time. for 30 years as a couple. I think it just gives the opportunity for us to say, hey, this is who we are. And it's it's just kind of like one of those moments that um, someone used us for a moment. And 
You can move That's on. That's the bottom line. Yeah, it seems like they are brushing that rumor to the side, moving on, and that is exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna move on to our social spotlight, and mine goes to Bryn, who stepped out on a red carpet looking A plus fabulous. She looks fantastic, but for me, it was the caption, I don't look at photos of you on the red carpet, which of course was a dig that she had at Jenna Lyons earlier this year when you know Jenna asked if she looked at pictures of her on the red carpet, and she said, absolutely not. She was having a little bit of fun with that one, but love to see it. I know Bryn met up with Andy Cohen that night, so it looked like it was a spectacular night out. Can't believe that we're coming up on the finale of The Real Housewives of New York. I know a lot of you have been divided about this season, whether you like it or not, um, but I guess during the finale, this big secret comes out about Bryn and Sai about why they're not friends anymore and so we'll have to wait and see how that really plays out because it looks like Bryn blows up Uba's spot about her relationship and I think we're gonna leave off on a fiery note. All right well that is it for this week's episode of Getting Real with the Housewives. Please let me know what you think about Salt Lake City. If you're excited for the finale of uh, The Real Housewives of New York and do we really think that that's Mauricio's new girlfriend? Let us know in the comments and I'll catch you guys next week.